Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 208 of Mountain Blade Warband, and this is what I was talking about. This is another weekly budget. So, last time, without the castle's contribution, we were looking at uh, minus 8,000, or almost minus 9,000. But now with the castle's contribution, so these are the net revenues. So those are those were there. What wasn't there was the rent from Oxhall. Oxhall had, uh, oh, Oxhall is not doing very well. Again, it is it's just fifty two hundred both rents and tariffs, and we weren't. Uh, so we had in the previous episode we I showed uh, the rent from our businesses. Uh, but it doesn't reflect the rents from Hallmar. Hallmar was a two thousand. Uh, rents for Nara was two thousand four. Uh, so those actually bumped it up. The big ones are the rents from Malay from the one, two, three, four, five, six castles we have, and the three uh, villages we have. So the six castles like uh, Unus Dak Amaya Lurg is almost two thousand. Unus Dak is 1600, Reindy Castle is 2500, uh, Ulun Castle is 1800, and Jamayed is 1600, and Teram Terama is 2300. Those have the, I think those six castles and the uh, Z Zagush 1000, Kadelke 1000, Shiba Zum Zum Zumer, Zumer is another thousand. So that's the swing factor right there, right? Uh, that's almost 2,000. That's a swing factor between a negative 9, 8,008, 8, and a positive 19. So if we go to war, the economics of war, uh, we're not going to get anything from the three villages because they will be looted. And then the six castles will be producing, if we're lucky, half of what they're producing. So we will still be maybe about break even at best, at best. So war is not good for us. And the longer, so I, right now, after going through these uh, economics of uh, peace, I am now appreciative of the fact that uh, the marriage is taking such a long time. It had forced me to actually uh, delay going into conflict. So again, we get a note from our betrothed to look her up. So it's turning out to be a good thing. Uh, okay, let us. So it's a new dawn of a new day. Uh, let us save this. It's seventy-one. Oh, it's eight seventy-two. So we are. So in the prior. Uh, in the prior, what do you call this? Prior pay period, we were down eight thousand something. Uh, uh, eighteen. Uh, we were we were up eighteen thousand. So uh, this the change from eighteen thousand to nineteen thousand is because we delivered raw silk to um, Oxhall, and therefore Oxhall was making more money, and that's the big. So that's why what we're doing. And also, I think we delivered uh, leather to uh, Tear. So all of, all of the things we do, aside from uh, killing raiders or capturing raiders, uh, we are also contrib contributing to the pot. So our running around at, at least is not currently is not senseless. So these are Kurgit horsemen. Uh, ooh, to a Lancer. Yes, so we will do that. Uh, skirmisher, no, we're gonna mm, Vega recruit. We're not gonna improve these. No, we're gonna promote. We are not going to promote these guys. Uh, okay, we're maxed out. Uh, okay, uh, do we have? If we have a lot of grain, we don't have a lot of grain. Uh, So it's early morning. We have saved it. Uh, is I think Old Bourbon was looted? No, it was not looted. We don't have much luck here. I don't know. I never had good luck there. 
Okay, let's come to Old Bourbon. Okay, this guy is out here raiding Kurgitz. Oh, why is does he have Nord? Why does he have Nord prisoners? Very interesting. Uh, I just keep sending her off. Because when we first recruited her and we got feedback as to how our army is doing. She has says we have good companions, we have good leadership, and uh, the conditions are great. Uh, but then after writing us for about a week or so, uh, she says uh, companions are questionable, conditions are questionable, our leadership is questionable, uh, <laughs> uh, and then uh, so so I guess she will leave. I don't know. Uh, I don't know when. Okay, let's go to Tebandra. Uh, we, I think we, we recruiting cost was maybe about three hundred bucks or something. Uh, it used to be huge money for us, but uh, it's not so much that. It's just that. Uh, why do they have the, these uh, built in? Oh, this is ninety three. A little on the expensive side. Uh, a little on the expensive side. Um, you know what? No, we're not. We will not buy that. Uh, recruit volunteers. I was buying them for seventy-five and under. Yes, uh, because I think uh, the bigger towns are willing to buy them for uh, maybe about a hundred bucks or something. And uh, the really far away town, like maybe Diren or even Ravadin, uh, might actually pay more money. Tadsamesh, I miss you. Uh, that was our very first village. And we protected it like crazy. We developed it. And then I think uh, nobody is minding it anymore. I don't think uh, it has even been, it has been given to a... So this these lands belong to no one. So that means it was never it was never allocated to anybody else. Poor guys, you know, uh, we built so much here. Uh yeah. So war is really bad for for uh, economically speaking. Uh how many spots left on our Oh, we have uh, 11 guys. We can still recruit 11 guys. Oh, uh, Todzhor. Let's go to Tosdar. I think we can go to Dirim and... Oh, who's this guy? Yep. Ho, <laughs> Is very smart by traveling with a small party he can uh, go very fast and he can loot villages and get really good uh okay anyway uh hold on uh new dawn of a new day so let us save this uh, so that is a uh, uh, a trick we can do if uh i will do that if we were supposed if we play this game again uh but not in the immediate uh future maybe f a few years from now uh yeah when i get because like uh this is very similar to the uh, empire building games uh we played or uh we worked with or we played uh i think like nobunaga's ambition We could have, we, we could, we should have bought the these, and then worked our way to Ravadin, and then uh, dump all of this grain on our uh, on our on our mill up there, right? 
Uh, fortunately, I cannot take you back just yet. Yeah, yeah, just go about doing her business. She wants, she's convinced about, uh, I didn't understand. She is, she's all about uh, wanting, wow, we can take Deren. We can take Deren. Uh, it'll be a tough fight because um, they have a few knights. I think bread is cheap here. Salt is not so cheap. We can sell one. We can sell one of yeah, one of these also. Uh, wool. I think we can get a better price elsewhere. But you know what? It's like if somebody's willing to buy it from us at 115, that's done. That's a done deal. And this fish is going for 76 bucks. 74 okay those are good deals okay uh and i think bread is cheap here i think 28 no it's still expensive uh we have we have we still have bread right yeah uh yeah i just came here to make sure we can sell some of the wool we still have a, a ton of wool yeah, maybe sell another one Uh, we have a lot of fish. Hmm. And fish is lighter. I think, yeah, it's only 15 pounds. Look at bread. Bread is 30 pounds. Just like, wow, it's double the weight of fish. So, uh, let's move the grain up. Uh, and then Dirin is a big market, so strong nomad bow. I think we can pull this now, right? I think we have. We have, do. I thought we just increased our power draw to four. We do we have something like that already? Over seven. That's eight. Uh, you know what? I think we have I don't know. I think we we have that. Uh anyway, that ooh, pole axe. That's one thing I was looking for, but it requires 13 strength. Uh balance pole axe. It has a uh, 53 cutting, 18 thrust. Look at it. It has 180 reach. Although it's slow, uh, 180 as against what is that we're carrying? 120. Oh, very slow. This is 99 and uh, 100, 99 and 120. Wow, this is. Uh, but we can't carry it. This 13. Okay, so. Uh, Strong Nomad Bow. Uh, I think we can... I don't know. Uh, okay, let us uh, move out of the city and then let's check our character. Uh, do we have power draw? Yes, we have power draw of four. Uh, how about our other party members? Uh, like Baheshtur... This is five, okay. That is stronger than what we have, uh, than what we can draw. This is eight. This is seven. And what is his skill level? He is at five. Uh, okay. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, then, uh, Bahastor Ferentis. How about? How about Borcha? What's your skill? Power draw of four. What's your equipment? Oh, he's got a strong nomad bow. Huh. 
I don't know. Can we get up there? Oh, uh, you know what? We might actually have one in Rainy Castle. Okay, let's forget this. Um, I think we can always get another bow. Uh, how many people are we short on? We're all short on three people. Let's come over here. So we used to command 136 uh, people, but because our renown has declined, we are now down to 134. So renown has an impact on the number of troops we can uh, we can bring with us. Okay, let's come to Rainy Castle. I believe we have uh, we stashed uh, a few a couple of bows there, and hopefully one of them is a strong bow. Yalibe. I wonder which villages uh, Dirim controls. Uskutu, definitely, and maybe this one. And possibly Yalibe and Chipstin. Uh, let's go to the Lord's Hall. I remember stashing some weapons here. Yep. Uh, Master, oh, that's seven. Balance Great Lands. Master Nomad Bow. Ah, ha. Oh, the level seven, level six. Ouch. Okay. Uh, I think we have too many. Balance Great Lands as against, what is this? Uh, great Lands. So this is 410. This is 21 thrust, uh, pierced. What is the balance great lance? This is 24. Speed rating 58. That's the speed rating on this one. 55. Why is this faster? Hmm. Why are we not using this one? Oh. We should try using this. Okay. Um, yeah. And we have not read any books. We can stash one of these things here. Uh, okay. So, no. Apparently, yeah. I think we... No rush. Uh... Let's stash the people in Hallmar and then go back up there and hopefully uh, it will still be around. Hallmar. Some Juba has been looted by Olaf Noyan's party. He, Olaf Noyan used to be a Nord. Save as now he's a Kurgit apparently. <laughs> this they're playing musical chairs. It's like uh... so the AI is not uh, very well developed in this game. I, I mean, uh, how people, why people like each other, why people hate each other. Uh, there should be some uh, level of rhyme or reason to this. Uh, right now, it is not uh, it's not clear uh, what affects what. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a tournament going on. Uh, manage the garrison. Uh, let's uh, give all the Vagar archers. Uh, and then Swedish recruits. We will not promote them. Let's give all. Nord recruits, we will give all. Kurgit horsemen, this one can be, yeah, let's promote two of them. And then let's give all. Uh, skirmishers uh, to Kurgit horsemen, yes. Wow, that's going to be expensive. Wow, okay, uh, let's give all. Uh, Vega recruits, no. Um, Let's give all 
Koga Tribesman. Let's give our Rodok Crossbowman. Aha. Uh -huh. And then these guys. Two Lancers give all. Okay, um, let us check on uh, Tavern. Oh, Ransom Broker. Okay, cool. Uh, then bring your purse. I wonder if we have uh, step bandits to sell. Okay, let's go check back our garrison. Uh, any step bandits? No, uh, no, okay, ah, uh, huh. Okay, um, I guess. Let's go to the market because, like I said, we're carrying out a lot of goods around. Like this is worth 133. The fish is worth 82. We can't sell too much because we start destroying the price. Salt is worth 242. Uh. Even the grain is at 28 bucks. Uh, Hallmark is our, I think our wine press is over here. So, bread is actually good also. A price is 38. Let's sell another salt. We're actually making money on the grain. Very interesting. Uh, how about veggies? Uh, those are all half eaten. Huh. Fruits is almost gone. Okay, uh, so veggies has no value. Almost, I guess it, it makes sense, right? Because uh, anybody can just uh, grow them in their backyard. So any town can actually grow some veggies. Uh, it's good for us, though, uh, it's just for variety. Maybe we should not have bought so many. Are they heavy? Oh, they're weight 15. Okay. Uh, I guess it's time for us to go to... Uh, yeah, do we want to do another tournament? Huh. I, I am not... Uh, <laughs> no, let's not do another tournament. And we are in... I think this is Kyrgyz territory, so... That's a lot of arrow shooting and stuff like that, and we are not very good at that one. Uh, so what I want to do is come on over here. Uh, because right now, our speed should... Okay, let's just take her on. We're at 69 Oh, and then the day has changed, right? It's now, uh, I mean, it's no longer dawn. No declarations against us. And uh, what do I want to do? Uh, look at our party. Matheld is down here. See, uh, I have improved her weapons. So she's now carrying flange mace, spike mace, uh, spike helm, uh, better. Uh, everything's much better, and 
a shield and I, we also gave her a horse. Why is it still a lame step horse? Uh, okay. And if we ask her, let's say, see, if we ask her, how do you feel about the way things are in the company? I'm content with your choice of companions, concerned about your style of le leadership, and happy about the general state of affairs. So it's possible that she might not stay with us long. And she has problems with Jeremus. Um, and Jeremus, we know, is a key... Uh, is a key uh, companion in our group. Uh, so let's move her up. Yeah. Okay, uh, there goes our timer. So I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Wait, wait. Uh, what are our... So we have been asked to visit... Bernatis again, so 27 days. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with this Mersh uh, uh, Mershad. Uh, and that's why I didn't want to go to war either, because Mershad is not here patrolling. Uh, he's up in Oxhall. Uh, why is that so dark? And Minir is up there too. Uh, I presume Despin and uh, the guy who Rig Rigas will also be there. So then nobody's watching the our main entrance here. So why is it being held in Oxhall? I have no idea. We have already moved our capital here, right? Uh, all the guys are here, but all the women are in Oxhall. I don't understand that. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.